Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone. Okay, we can continue. We can continue with the next uh, discussion about the principal component analysis. So, if uh, we reflect back what we have been discussed, so when you perform any um, principal component analysis using the SL stat, you will get the first one, the result of summary statistics, yeah, and then uh, correlation matrix. And then Bullet's uh, sparsity test. <coughs> and the last one, Kaiser Mayo Alkin measurement of sampling adequacy. So, for this video, we would like to uh, discuss about the Kaiser Mayo Alkin measurement of sampling adequacy, where we call it KMO. KMO. So, the aim of uh, using KMO just to check whether our data set is sufficient or enough for multivariate data analysis or camo metrics. So in this case, uh, the total camo value is 0 0.2087, which is uh, quite low and actually it's not enough or sufficient for uh, performing any multivariate data analysis. So in this case, you have to go back to your data then you have to collect more data, maybe more replicates or more uh, variables. And then we can go for uh, multivariate data analysis as well as PCA. So for KMO value, the best uh, value is it should be more than 0 0.5. And then if uh, can reach to one value, that means the data set that we use or we employ in this uh, principal component analysis are uh, enough for that purpose okay so since the result that we have here is 0 0.2087 but we assume that our data set is adequate or enough for that for PCA analysis or for principal component analysis so we just uh, discuss the result uh, along the way okay we don't uh, focus on the cap or value okay but be in mind this KMO value is very very low it's uh, quite low and uh, that indicates our data set is not enough for PCA okay okay now we reach to the actual focus in this video which is principal component analysis itself so the first information that we can get here is about the agent value variability in percentage and cumulative variability okay since uh, we are talking about principal component analysis those uh, alphabet f here actually are representing the f means uh, principal component okay so since we have five variables yeah from energy into saturated fat so the pca produce five principal component and then they name it as f1 until f5 so what does this uh, f1 until f5 means okay the principal component one until five doesn't indicate or doesn't show us what uh, this f1 is representing unless we have to uh, this is our job to uh, find out okay so they just say that uh, f1 uh, or pc1 is indicating that a, pre, a, a factor yeah that may contribute uh, or or they that may represent some uh, samples okay some uh, in this case mcdonald menu okay and then this M1, F1 as well, they will uh, represent uh, these five. Among these five variables, which one falls to F1, which one falls to F2, okay? Which one to fall uh, F3 until F5. The folding of this uh, or the fulfill of this variable into each of uh, F1, uh, each of principal component or factor is based on their uh, correlation yeah and then uh, maybe from there we can uh, dig out okay why this variable are grouped together in one factor okay and then what this variability means okay variability means uh, 
uh, how much uh, the variation of your data is explained. <coughs> and the cumulative one means you add up uh, the variability between principal component one and principal component two. Okay, for example, if you have cumulative uh, cumulative uh, variability. <coughs> For principal component 1, you have 41, but for principal component 2, you have 75. This is because 41 plus 34, you will get 75.9939, okay? So, same goes with uh, the principal component 3 or F3, you will get the cumulative percentage is 94%. This is because of 41.8899 plus 34 plus 18.28, and you will get the cumulative 94%. Uh, 2739 so this cumulative variation uh, cumulative percentage and uh, variability or variation this uh, information tell us that for example uh, when we say that uh, when it reached principal component 2 and principal component 1 the cumulative vari variability is 75.99 that indicates that 75.99 39% of our data set are explained in this principal component analysis. Okay, so out of 100% of our data, our this data, all of that 75.99 have been ex uh, uh, have been explained. Okay, in this principal component analysis. Okay, till then we'll continue to the next uh, part of principal component analysis.